Good afternoon and thanks for joining us. Holly Shields here for Calcine TV, welcoming you all to another edition of Executive Corner Expert Talks. This show will be bringing to you industry leaders, successful business owners and market experts all under one roof to help you discover the latest business insights. Today we're exploring a particular type of hot property that's highly coveted by urbanites. I'm talking about parking spaces. Here to shed some light on the space for us is Mr. Mike Rosenbaum, CEO and founder of Parkhound, the number one parking marketplace in Australia. Welcome to the show, Mark. It's a pleasure to have you with us. Thanks, Holly. Thanks for having me on the program. It's great to have you on. Now, first of all, in your expert opinion, how does leveraging the power of technology help people access underutilized assets? Yeah, so there are millions of underutilized assets that sit idle around us across our communities, across our busy cities. Um, and in our case, what we focus on is, is parking spots, driveways, lock up garages uh, for both parking and storage. Um, and I guess the benefit of technology is that um, it allows people to access marketplaces like Parkhound um, to provide those owners a way to um, market those empty spaces and make them available to the masses uh, at a hyper local level. So people are looking for a spot near their home or their workplace, um, they can now do that. Whereas previously they might have used, um, you know, a classified newspaper to, to market those spots. They might have put a poster um, on a local billboard um, or they may have let those spaces go empty for extended periods of time, um, which are really valuable spaces and that's really wasted space um, that sits idle in our community. So technology really allows us to tap in to pull the uh, empty around us and essentially takes a surplus um, to a shortage. So it's really uh, microeconomics, it's supply and demand. Absolutely, very well said there. There is a lot of underutilized space around in urban areas, particularly that uh, owners of these spaces could be earning a lot of money. So it's definitely a great that there's technology around like Parkhound that helps these owners of space utilize their properties. Now, as the Australian economy is reviving from the aftermath of the pandemic, how do you think the parking space change over the will change sorry, over the coming months as more people are heading back to the cities following lockdowns? Yes, yeah, so we also operate in the US market under the Spacer.com brand. Um, and what we've seen over there is that there's more and more people choosing to drive, uh, whether that's to work or for recreation. And I guess they're avoiding public transport because of um, COVID and, and certainly the Delta variant. Um, and so what we're expecting to see uh, in Australia, in cities like Sydney and Melbourne, as we come out of lockdowns, and we're seeing it already in Brisbane and, and other cities, um, is that there'll be a huge spike in demand and people will choose to drive. Um, and so uh, in the owners, who have empty parking space, make them available uh, for this insatiable, de insatiable demand uh, for parking um, and, um, and really sort of drive additional revenue and increase the yield. Sorry, uh, it seems we're having some audio issues there, but you're very right about that. These spaces continue to be in demand and we will likely see a surge in that demand as well following the lifting of lockdowns. Now, which big name car parks do you work with and roughly how many spots do you have across Australia? If you could fill us in on that, please. Yes, yeah, so on Parkhound we have over 50,000 locations right across Australia. Um, we work with a number of uh, parking operators, hotels, um, churches and, and sort of private businesses. Um, so some brands like Care Park out of Melbourne, New Park, uh, which is the city of Adelaide, uh, First Park in Sydney. And, uh, we're also active in the US market and work with um, with some very large operators over there. Um, but we're always looking to work with more things. I'll speak to them and, and uh, help them monetize those available spaces that they may have. That's incredible. You obviously have a very large market share there and a very large global reach and presence. Yeah, we've been in the business now for over six years. Uh, we launched um, out of Sydney um, and now we're Australia wide and we're also in uh, six cities in the US and looking to expand into 20 cities across the US over the next 12 to 18 months. Very impressive, definitely. Sounds like you've really been skyrocketing in a very short period of time, I must say. Now, I've got to ask... Got an... Sorry. Okay. Sorry, continue. 
got an amazing team uh, of 25 people, and uh, they're very passionate about um, you know helping uh, people leverage the, the what we call the sharing economy. Um, so those who have space and those who need space and put them together. So uh, yeah, we've got a great team and um, and uh, certainly growing very quickly. That's very great to hear, and it's obviously crucial to any business as well to have a great team. Now, I'd love to know if you have any secrets that you can share with our viewers about finding affordable parking in the city, which we know has always been a challenge since time immemorial. Well, unless you've got a friend who's got a spare spot that's willing to give it to you for free, um, I would recommend, as I would, uh, to go onto a platform like Parkhound, parkhound.com.au, or download the app. Um, and search for the location that you're looking for. And typically you'll find a spot within a couple of minutes walk uh, of what you're looking for. And it might be a church that's renting out their spots during the week when they don't need it. It could be a hotel that are renting out spots when it's not so busy during the week. Uh, it could be a commercial car park that we've partnered with. It could be private individuals that have rented out their driveway uh, or their undercover car spots. So uh, yeah, check it out. Uh, there's plenty of options, over 50,000 right across Australia. That's amazing. So when you weigh it up, which one tends to be a bit more uh, easier on the wallet, the private spaces versus the commercial parking spaces? Yeah, it really depends on the dynamics in that particular market in that suburb. Um, but certainly we're seeing um, some very strong offers from commercial parking operators at the moment as the market is a little bit softer. Um, and then other times you'll see um, you know, better deals coming from private individuals, um, uh, who, who who don't have one, they're renting out their spot and they're happy to help offset their rent or their mortgage. Um, so there's there's plenty of options for everyone to, to have a look at. Right, it definitely sounds like it. And it sounds like they'll have to look around a bit to uh, find the most appropriate deal because there's obviously quite a lot of spaces to choose from, as you mentioned. Yeah, that's right. We've got some great algorithms that surface to the top, the ones that would be most relevant for your needs uh, based on your search. And, and your criteria, but uh, yeah, there's plenty of options to choose from. That's amazing. Just before we wrap up now, could you tell us the main focuses of Parkhound and what they'll be for the next 18 months? Yeah, so um, we're certainly to expand further into the Australian market over the next 18 months and partner with more uh, commercial parking operators, more property owners, and of course our um, our core base, which is our our peer. peer uh, but as I mentioned earlier, we're expanding rapidly into the US right now. Uh, we're in sort of six or seven cities, um, and we're looking to expand into sort of around 20 cities over the next uh, 12 to 18 months. And we're expanding our team over there at the moment uh, and driving some really strong partnerships. Um, so, um, yeah, um, we're, we're very excited about the, the years ahead. Definitely. That's a very incredible to hear. And you've obviously got some massive expansions around the corner and we look forward to seeing your expansion into those markets. So congratulations on that. Thanks, Holly. Appreciate your time today. No problem. On that note, yes, it's just about time to wrap up, but I've got to say thanks so much for joining us today. It's been great to hear insights.